Вітаю, цей брифінг присвячений Greetings. This briefing is devoted to exposing the fakes and lies of the aggressor state. Let's talk about how Russia attributes non-existent military victories to itself, how Russia lies by launching strikes against civilians as destruction of military targets, also how Russia tries to reduce the figure of military losses inflicted by the Ukrainian armed forces. So, recently Russia attacked a civilian object, a dormitory in the town of Chasivyar in the Donetsk region, near the city of Bakhmut. In their reports, state propagandists lied about how the territorial defense was allegedly based there. As a result of strike, 300 nationalists were allegedly killed. I was personally on a humanitarian trip to the Donbass near the location. That's where the strike was carried out. It is a dormitory where civilians lived, and about 50 dead have already been found under the rubble. No nationalists were there, it was not a military facility. By talking about 300 killed military personnel, Russia is trying to absolve itself of responsibility for another attack against ordinary Ukrainian citizens. This is how they lied when they carried out the massacre in Bucha, the missile attack on the railway station in Kramatorsk, when the theater in Mariupol was blown up. Now there is another lie about Chasivyar. Another fake report in the official news is from the Russian Defense Ministry, quote, due to heavy losses and desertions, the 128th Brigade of Territorial Defense in Kharkiv is manned by prisoners who served their sentences in the city's penitentiary institutions. I personally contacted the command of the 128th Kharkiv Brigade and received official information that losses in the brigade were about 1%. This is the lowest figure of all units fighting on the front line. There are no deserters. There was no refusal to perform the duties of military service. That is, the Russian Defense Ministry lies to the whole world in order to justify its actions towards the civilian population and reports lies about the Ukrainian military. Another report of the Russian Ministry of Defense about the losses allegedly inflicted on the 72nd Brigade in the city of Solodar is also a lie. Here's what they stated, quote, more than 30% of the servicemen of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine were killed as a result of the Air and Space Forces strike in the area of the Solidar settlement. That's a lie. It consists in the fact that there is no one from the 72nd Brigade in Solidar at all, so this is yet another invented Russian military victory. While its frontline and rear units are suffering serious losses due to the involvement in the defense of Ukraine, in particular of HIMARS systems, which strike at the enemy's rear positions. By inventing victories or exaggerating its successes, Russia is also trying to hide the losses it suffered as a result of the active and precise actions of the armed forces of Ukraine. In particular, we are talking about Novakakhovka, where serious resources of the Russian armed forces were destroyed. In their reports, they stated that salt pepper exploded and not an ammunition depot, where the Ukrainian armed forces allegedly got into. Storehouses with salt pepper exploded in Novaya Kachovka after the impact. The explosions continue. The head of the military administration announced the news. According to him, there are victims. The hospital and residential houses are damaged. In fact, Russia suffered huge losses after the HIMARS hit the aggressors' military depots in Novakakhovka. Such lies have only one justification, not to tell their military and political leadership what losses the invaders are suffering on the battlefield in Ukraine. This lie has also an explanation. Russia is trying to manipulate the opinion of the population in the occupied territories of Ukraine and so despair that Russia will never leave these lands and Ukraine will not return control over the cities of the south of our country. Also, Russia continues to attract discredited persons to its propaganda forces. We are talking about the already known Scott Ritter, who has the official status of a sex offender in the United States. He is included in a special register of persons who had sexual contact with minors and who was convinced during the trial and released after a prison sentence. This discredited Scott Ritter has become the mouthpiece of Russian propaganda, which is trying to sow disbelief in the success of the Ukrainian armed forces in the world community and show the seeming inevitability of Russia's victory on Ukrainian lands. 
It is clear why this is done. Russia is looking for persons with foreign surnames who can be presented as international or American experts in order to manipulate the public opinion of Western countries in this way and to reduce or even stop the military aid that allows us to throw the enemy out of our lands. At the end of the briefing, the traditional appeal is not to believe the lies of the state and private resources of the aggressor state, to trust the Ukrainian mass media, the Ukrainian telemarathon and the Ukrainian military and political leadership. See you.